Hey there, what's going on? Tim Whitehead here, AKA your profitable resume writer. And I have a great topic for you today. We're gonna talk about how to niche down in your resume writing or coaching business and make more money and get more clients. You know, many a times when I'm consulting resume writers and coaches, they don't have a niche. They are just a generalist and they take pride in that. But when you do that, you can really leave a lot of money on the table when you're kind of seen as the jack of all trades, but the master of none. So I'm going to share with you why niching down is so important. And also what are different niches you can niche down with in your resume writing business or coaching business. All right, before we get into this video, do me a solid like and subscribe to my channel. You would definitely be doing me a favor to reach other resume writers and coaches like yourself. And also, if you're trying to get more clients, make more money and grow your business, I have an online course available in the description box called the the Profitable Resume Writer. I also have a community, it's called the Cash Out Community, where if you enroll in that community, you can actually get that course free. And my community is totally designed to help you get more clients, make more money, and grow your business. This is what this channel is all about, and I'm here to help. All right, so let's get into this video. And I, I want to start by sharing a story with you, okay? Roughly around 2015, 2016, I started my resume writing business, and I was a generalist in my business. And don't get me wrong, I was making money, all right? I was making money, I was getting clients, but I was charging a very low amount, right? I was charging, I want to say, between $75 to $125 a resume, okay? And at that time, I didn't see myself necessarily as, you know, a specialist. I seen myself as a generalist, probably like how you see yourself, right? And then about a year after, I began to not only get better at my craft, but I began to really learn and research and get better as a marketer, as a business person. And I began to realize as well that I enjoy helping a certain niche of person, a certain type of person, right? I enjoyed helping executives, managers, directors, right? I found myself being able to connect with them more. I found myself to have similar values as those individuals. And it was just it just was natural for me to help those people, right? Now, mind you, at this time, I still didn't really niche down. I just found that I got, I enjoyed helping that sector people, right? And then as I began to continue to progress in my career, I want to say by year three, I said, you know what? I'm going to specialize in helping, you know, executives, directors and managers, particularly mid-level managers who work in like a corporate setting. I want to specialize in helping those people. And man, did it change the whole dynamic of my business. I moved from charging, you know, $125 for a resume to $797. I started charging $997. And guess what? Those people did not have a problem paying for those services. You know, as a matter of fact, Depending on who you niche down to, you can charge low to the point where they don't take you serious. This is why, you know, knowing your audience, having a niche is so important. So let me let me help you out a little bit. I want to give you some different ideas of who you can niche down to. OK, this is going to really help you. Um, as you grow, and this is may, this may be why you're not getting clients. I'm here to tell you because when you're seen as a generalist, your marketing is very general. The things that you post is extremely general, and uh, quite honestly, this will hurt you. Okay, so the first group, and I'm gonna start with the group I just mentioned, are the executives, directors, and managers. Let's focus on the executives real quick. You can become just a, a an executive coach, an executive resume writer, and specialize just with dealing with executives. 
One of the best benefits of dealing with these individuals is that they don't mind paying a premium for your services. They actually, they, they want to pay many of them. What I found in my experience, many of them want to pay a premium because they want to go to the best of the best and they're natural high achievers. Okay. That's one thing. If you, if you are a person that's a natural high achiever, you want to help people go to another level of success. Execs may be the area that you really want to specialize in because they want to pay premium because they want premium results. A lot of these people are trying to land, you know, $200,000, $300,000, $400,000, you know, executive jobs. And so they need the best materials. Number two, and I'm going to the, the complete opposite on this college graduates okay college graduates is also a great niche as well because a lot of the graduates they're hungry they're poised they're excited to get in the job market to see if they can land you know a lucrative job or just land a job in their field right now the con with dealing with you know college graduates is you know many of them don't have the same month you know amount of money revenue coming in as an executive. So, you know, the margin in which you can make money may be a lot lower, you know, than what it would be to an exec. So for example, for example, if you're charging, let's say $2,000 to do a resume for an executive with a recent college grad, you may be only able to charge $797. Now, don't get me wrong. I've had college graduates that pay me four figures to have a resume done, right? But if you want your business to grow and to scale, you know, you may not be able to have that happen on a consistent basis. And that's something very important for you um, to know, all right? Another specialty, another niche may be healthcare. Maybe you want to help nurses, you know, get into... Um, get into hospitals, get, in, get into healthcare organizations, right? Maybe you want to help doctors, you know, land jobs. Maybe you say, okay, I want to help engineers, right? Uh, you may want to specialize just in that. I actually have a client who, you know, he's not only a client, but a friend now. He's been my client for roughly a year. And he's a engineering manager, but he helps engineers break into the field or recent graduates of engineering break into the field. And I think that's a, an amazing niche. Not only is that this niche can be very lucrative for you, but these people are very smart. They're high achievers and they're willing to pay. And if you notice, let me pause real quick. If you notice there's a common thread with what I'm saying, okay? If you want to get more clients and make more money and grow your business, right? You need to follow where the high achievers are, okay? What I've learned is that the high achievers are the ones that will pay for your services. They want to use coaches, consultants, resume writers, career professionals to elevate their career. The low achievers are the ones that are tie kickers, they are going to try to lowball you. Your services can be, you can, you can say, your resume services can be $75 and they're going to try to talk you down to 50 bucks, right? You don't want those kind of people in your client base. You don't want to deal with those kind of people because it haven't clicked yet for them that, you know, in order to be successful, in order to be a winner, you have to have a winning mindset and you have to embrace being a high achiever. And so, my biggest piece of advice, regardless of what, no matter what niche you really break into, focus on the high achievers in the niche, okay? I don't care if it's execs. I don't care if it's directors, managers. Uh, I don't care if it's just women. That's another niche. If you want to just focus on just women in corporate, right? You can do that. And what it does is when you focus on these niches, now you can shape your marketing language your branding around this niche. Because guess what? The way you talk to a professional woman working in corporate that's trying to land an executive job 
is going to be completely different than talking to a young man that just graduated college and want to be an engineer, right? It, the, the marketing language, the, the angles, your, your personal branding, the way you present yourself, all of it is completely different. So that's a benefit of having a niche is that you're able to now become what I call a sniper and you're not just a, a what I call like a shotgun you know holder you know a shotgun person a person with a shotgun they can just aim at a certain direction and shoot and hope they hit something right you know that can be effective in certain situations right but a sniper is very dangerous because a sniper can shoot you in a vital point, a pain point, right? From a far distance. And that's what you want to be as a resume writer or a um, a coach. All your language, all your messaging needs to hit your ideal client right here, okay? Or right here. You need to, it need to hit them in their pain points. It need to hit them where they are struggling, their biggest struggle, right? It need to hit them with what they think about at night, okay? It need to hit them where, you know, they're like, man, what would happen? And I'm, I'm saying this if, you know, I'm, I'm messaging, I'm, uh, if my, man, my messaging is towards a manager, right? A lot of mid-level managers, they want to move up to directorship, right? Or they are burned out. They are, they're trying to get more peace. So if I make a message that's talking to managers saying, you know, what if you can land a job? that fully aligns with you, but also gives you the level of peace and work-life balance that you can spend with your family. You don't think that'll make them think and it'll, it'll hit that heart because they want to spend more time with their spouse or their kids, right? They want to spend more time to themselves. They want to take, you know, maybe a vacation or a staycation. Like when you target a certain clientele and become a, um, a specialist, have a niche, it's going to separate you from your competition and you're going to become the go-to person, you know, whether you're marketing on social media, LinkedIn, Facebook, or even if you decide, okay, I just want to market to people in my neighborhood. If you got the specialty, you are going to become the go-to person in your space. All right. I hope you got value out of this video. Again, if you did, do me a solid. Hit that like button, subscribe. If you have any questions whatsoever, put it down in the comments below. Also, I want to invite you, if you're trying to really make some money um, in your business, start getting clients within as early as two weeks. Go down to my description box. Check out my online course. If you join the Cash Out community, you get the online course free. Okay. So go down in the description box, take advantage of that course. Again, that's it with this video. I hope it helped. I hope it was a blessing to you until next time. Be great. Have fun. Make money. Peace.